Isaiah chapter 40. Amen. 
Amen. Amen. Amen. Not everybody want to fly. All right. Amen. Sometimes some of us can't get out of a Bible situation because we're hanging out with people that don't want to fly. All right. I don't know about you, but I want to fly. All right. Amen. Amen. I, 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 God don't give me wings, and, and I want to be able to fly. Amen. Amen. I want to get above my situation. Oh. Mention uh, uh, an animal called an eagle. Yeah. And we ain't just heard about the eagle. Uh -huh. But I heard Sister Pat explain that when you see animals in the Bible, they are symbolic of what God wants us to know about ourselves. Uh -huh. He wants us to see ourselves as the animals that he's talking about. Uh -huh. Not everybody wants to fly. Uh -huh. Amen. Others don't want to go through what it takes to learn how to fly. Uh -huh. Amen. And even those who choose to give it a try, sometimes you get discouraged along the way because the training to learn how to fly is rigorous. Yeah. In other words, it ain't no easy thing. Right. Amen. Come on, somebody else has some help up in the air. Amen. To learn how to fly is not an easy thing. Amen. Let me see if I can say it like this. To, to learn how to fly is very expensive. In other words, it's going to cost you something to learn how to soar above your situation. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. Yes, Lord. You get this courage. Uh -huh. But I tell you what, training is hard. Mm -hmm. It takes something to be qualified to become an airplane pilot. All right. Amen. So some will drop out because it gets a little rough along the way. Amen. And that's why you have people who said that there was Christians and believers walking away from Christianity every day of our life. Amen. Some people just give up. Uh -huh. Amen. Because the road gets rough and rocky sometimes. Yeah. And some people just decide that I don't think it's worth all of that. I don't know about you, amen, but I don't think dying and going to hell is worth it. I don't think it's worth living here on this earth with all the trials and tribulations and then spend eternity in hell. Yeah. It ain't worth it. All right. Amen. amen. Some only want to fly small planes. All right. Amen. But others want to go to the top and assume the responsibility of mega planes. Amen. Amen. Some folks don't want to fly a 747. All right. Amen. Some folks just want to fly a little, uh, what you call those little crystals. Uh, yeah, those little crystals, uh, those little uh -huh. four passenger uh -huh. jobs. Uh, some people just want to fly a, a small jet that'll carry eight or ten people. All right. Amen. But some people want to be the best that they can be. Amen. 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 They want to rise to the top. Amen. They want to fly the mega jets. Yeah. Amen. And I don't know about you, but I want to be a mega Christian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Amen. I want to rise up where God wants me to be. Yeah. I want to be able to look at myself as God look at me. Yeah. Even though I'm not all that he would want me to be, amen, I'm allowing him to work on me. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Because I want to fly high. All right. Amen. I'm going somewhere with this. Yes, Lord. Amen. Something I learned from talking to an airplane pilot. And watch this right here. The pilot told me that they can only have one certification at a time. Uh -huh. Amen. So if they're flying a mega jet and they decide that they want to fly a small plane, do you not know that they have to give up that certification for the mega plane? Amen. And receive a certification for a small plane. All right. I thought there was some, I thought there was amazing right there. Yeah, yeah. Amen. If you if you're already certified, why can't you just fly anything? Why can't you just drop down and fly what you want to fly? No, but they got it, but they have to give up a certification. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Uh -huh. To fly a different type class of plane. Amen. Amen. But sometimes God wants us to just Give up these little responsibilities. Okay. Amen. And assume the bigger responsibility. Okay. Okay. Oh, I'm trying to help somebody in here. Mm -hmm. 
Amen. Amen. That caused us sometimes to have to go through some things. Amen. Amen. Things that we don't understand. Amen. 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 Things that will trouble our faith. All right. Things that will make us wonder, is God still with me? Oh, yeah. Amen. Amen. Things that make us think we ain't going to make it. And that's why I said sometimes we need to be reminded that he's the same God. Reminded that, that he promised us that he'll always be with us, even until the end of the earth. Amen. You're going to be right there. Yes, Lord. So sometimes you have to give up a little bit of stuff. Because God got somebody else to take care of that. Amen. Amen. You serve, if you've served well there, amen, don't be afraid of allowing God, amen, to move you on to bigger and better things. All right. Can I get a witness amen. in it? Amen. Amen. And sometimes when God is doing something, amen, he take away the present responsibility and prepare us for our next assignment. Amen. Sometimes we get to weeping and mourning just because God is trying to take us someplace else. Right. I don't know who I'm talking to All today, right. but there's All some right. preparation time for the next Amen. assignment. Amen. 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 God knows that training is, is so severe that you can't handle these little things Amen. And go through the training that he got to put you through to get you to your next situation. All right, guys. Amen. But we got to understand and we got to remember if God brought us through the last situation, amen. amen, if he promised he wouldn't leave us, amen, I heard the choir singing that you, he promised that he would take us through it. Amen. Amen. My Lord. Amen. But he's doing something. Yes, Lord. Amen. But for any certification. There yes, is Lord. training in in yes, Lord. Amen. Yes, Lord. You see, the eagle mm -hmm. has been used in the Bible in several places to indicate strength Lord. and great ability. All right. Now God said that 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 we are more than a conqueror. Yes. Amen. Because in the first thirty nine chapters of Isaiah, God's judgment was against his people for their sins. All right. But, the, but, but that's what I like about God. He doesn't hold grudges. He don't hang around with what we did in our past. Right. God is concerned about our future. Right. And there's some training for us to receive what God has for us in our future. Amen. Amen. Can I help us up in here today? All Amen. Right. God forgives and forgets. Amen. Right. Amen. So the beginning of the last 27 chapters of the book of Isaiah, God offers hope. Not only does he offer hope, but he offers joy. Amen. Not only does he offer hope and joy, but he offers peace. Yes. And I, I need to stop right here and tell somebody that whatever you're going through. All right. Yeah. Amen. God has All peace right. waiting on you. Yeah. All you got to do is allow him yeah. to take control of your situation. Yeah. Well, I need to go ahead and ask you this while I'm right here. If you can change it, why are you worrying about it? Amen. Go ahead and change it and get your joy and your peace. Yeah. Amen. But if you can't change it, I heard uh, 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 Solomon say, trust in the Lord with all your heart. Yeah. Lean yeah. not to your own yeah. understanding, yeah. but in all your ways, yeah. acknowledge yeah. him, and he shall direct your path. Yeah. God has got a path to get you through your next situation. Oh, yeah. Yeah. All right. All right. Yes, Lord. All right. Yeah. Amen. I know he does. Been there and done that. Take somebody and tell them to get ready to fly. Yeah. Yeah. Whoever I'm talking to, I want you to look at something right here. Look at the four first line of the text. Have you not known? Have you not heard? The everlasting God, the Lord, the creator of the ends of the earth. If you say you know him, Amen. You ought to be willing to trust him. Amen. Because when you learn about him, you will learn that not only you have been through this situation before, and the others that went through this situation and came out as though it was the Lord that brought them through. Yeah. If you hadn't had to do it for you yet, amen, you ought to go on what you've already heard. Yeah. Yes. Hallelujah. Get ready to fly. Yes, Lord. Have you not known or heard that the everlasting God, the Lord, the creator of the earth, mm -hmm. listen, he is God. Amen. And if you need him, he will come to you. 
Amen. I'm talking about God who yes. measures the water.